Right, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start with the black today. Um, I did some extra bits on his nose, but um, I'll just let you um, have a look at what I've done and then I'll go through it with, with you as we're working today. Okay, let's get cracking. So I'm gonna do this bit here today and then this leaves it nice and free for doing his shaggy fur over the black. And then I'll start with the black parts up here. Because as you can see, I've done his um, nose, but that needs a lot more work doing on it. It needs the highlights and uh, a bit of blue put in there. And I just wanted to kind of get it in there really so that we could do the shaggy bits around it and all of these shaggy hairs are coming right from this area here so it needs to be in, in place already okay so first of all i'm just going to make these bits a bit lighter if you can see there's some lighter bits there i don't want to lose those bits uh, and i can easily darken them down but i just want to make sure that i've i've actually got them in because these will add a lot of interest to this black area here. Because just, you know, doing it in a whole load of black would be, it would be nice. So there'll be all sorts of bits and pieces in this. So as you can probably see, the green has gone over the line of his body, but it doesn't matter, the black will just go right over that. That'll be fine. but you'll see it on your on your uh, reference photo that you printed out especially if you've used the photographic paper so yeah that's it really just that so we're gonna go we'll get the black straight on I think so I'm just using the Faber Castell black well I've got several blacks here at the ready and I've got a black charcoal as well. Just see the line underneath the pastel there, just put that in. Comes up a bit here. I'm actually See, I've put the point up here, that's where the, the picture will end. You can still see the black point there and the black point here. So this is where it's gonna end, just in those that corner there. So really, this, this could really have been back here. going over that mark though so that we make sure that it's we've got enough covered. Now I'm not bothering about direction of hair or anything here because you can't really see it. It won't matter. It'll be fine. Just get it in. Then we'll blend it in. Then we'll do something with the, the blue and the grey on top. Very lightly, I'm not pressing hard on this. Doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be really, really hard. We'll just build it up gradually. That way it'll look a lot nicer. Got a nice clean line here. I'm going to go right over that black line that we can just see on our tracing because uh, when I 
traced it on, I remember thinking, oh yeah, it's, it's got to be black. So, and I'll just go over his little bit of face there, very, very gently. And that comes up. Yeah. I'll just pencil it in very, very gently so we know where we're going there. And then these bits, there is a bit of black here. And then he's got some fur hair. And then there's a black bit there. That's it. You see there's a couple of little marks where its fur comes out. So all these little marks here is where I made I've already made the the points. That's where the, there are dark flecks in his hair. You know, if you had to get that all in, it had to be really right. That would have taken you a while, but because we've already done it with tracing, it's nice and quick. Actually, it's, it's rusty colour, so we'll put a rust in. Just give us an idea then of what we've got to put in there. And this, of course, is, is rust. Just for now, that'll do that colour, that'll do fine. And this is rusty. That will just, that's a bit lighter there, so I'll just put that in very, very gently. all over. See 
see, this is what happens with pastel matte. It doesn't really, doesn't blend like other papers. If you did that on other papers, it would be all over here. It would have just blended right through. Even just, just tiny bit like that. making this a little, look a little bit softer this line because that's his hair. to do his hair coming this way now because I think that feels like it would be more natural. I can't see, I can't see that mind you. It just looks like a black mass with bits of something going on in there, nothing much really. So it will have to be very, very, very dark. That's the main thing, very dark and just some nuances like a different color here and there, but it needs to be very, very dark because his face is in front of the of his body obviously and that's how you get the 3D look bring his head forward because that's all lighter and especially his chin here yeah, nice and light
see what's going on a bit there. Yeah, this is kind of how I would approach areas like this. I just get them in and then blend them in a bit. Just over. Once you've got them kind of in the right area, you can just go over them a bit and see them then. see the difference how it blends much better now that I've got a bit of pastel on there. On my best printout what I've got here is bits of blue, light grey, nothing white, light blue there, light grey. Just looking at how his chin goes kind of straight here, then it's coming down in a line like that. Just imagine those angles when you're getting everything in. And then when you put your hairs in, you'll make sure that they, they go along those lines there. I'll come over the black, but they'll still be thinking about those angles. when we've done more of that and we'll work into this corner I think try and get a bit of something going on all over and definitely the black bits I want to get those in all over wherever I can see them and it just helps you get a get a nice feel for it and um, it just helps you keep your bearings really anyway not everyone likes to do it that way but I, I like it Just rub it in again, very gently. Now I'm going to put a bit of dark blue in this because there's a lot of blue going on and I think it will really, maybe here definitely, and may merge it into maybe more black here. We'll see how it looks, we'll see how it goes. Definitely want the very dark blue. Need to locate it. Yeah, I like this. I like this dark blue really. This is the Vapor Castell one. It's very nice. I've used it in my dark backgrounds. 
used it on the last uh, course I did. So just put it in, it kind of gives it a, a nice richness, it takes that dull look away that black has. And because this is cool, um, no, even this is they're, they're red, but they're they're not they're not warm, not really warm red in in my picture and my print. It's more of a cooler idea that we've got going on there. But sometimes in some animals you can warm up the black with a very dark red. That works really well. I don't want to do that here. I'll just go with this. do all this I'll do all these feathery bits over the top with some darker darker colours much darker than I've got here this is just to mark it out really okay let's put this little black flex in now so that's that's one there just to I'm not gonna go mad on detail or anything we're just gonna put them in so it gives us a our markings. And you can use each one to give you the marker for the next. See that's not a heavy mark so I've gone a bit easier on that. It does go up here. And then there's a little gap there where the green comes through, which I'll really pop a bit more green in there possibly. This is dark. This is the next patch. It's dark. kind of goes very paler here. So you can get all this in place. That's uh, kind of streaky through there. I've got some blonde streaks over that. So definitely go in the direction of the hair there. See it's coming round here. Yeah, it's going around there gently, and then this is strong black. And there's another patch there, it's quite strong. And yeah, it's coming into this, this curly bit there. And there's another bit here. That's got a little bend in it, that one. There. Then we've got a black patch there. 